More than anything else, sight fishing is the most exciting way to catch any fish. Granted, not always the most productive method. When they make you, it's game over. Here are a few tips to up your odds. Whenever a fish is spotted, resist the temptation of rushing in to get a better look. Fish are able to see quite well above water through a diffracted window of vision. Always keep body movement to a minimum and wear blend-in colors. Keep a low profile and use available cover whenever possible. That includes your boat or dock. As strange as this may sound, do not stare directly at any fish. Instead, glance occasionally to one side or the other. It's an established fact that all living things instinctively sense when they're being hunted. Always maintain a completely relaxed demeanor and remember to speak softly. Everything you say is quite audible down under. When it's time to make that cast, execute a simple underhanded flip, rod held close to the body. An overhead cast is like waving a red flag. There's no question that sight fishing is a demanding game, but when you follow the rules, it's possible to place yourself in a front row seat to all that action. Sight fishing to large, visible game fish is undeniably the greatest thrill in angling. At one time or another, nearly every type of fish can be caught this way and by a variety of methods, including ice fishing. In the shallows, even smaller fish can provide a rush of adrenaline and an unforgettable experience. Success at this game is a matter of spotting them before they spot you. Always wear polarized sunglasses and scan well ahead of yourself. Looking upwards fish see above water through a conical window of view. To us, it's a confusing perspective of underwater structure, reflected images, and floating objects. Even so, anglers stepping into this window are clearly visible. Better to draw fish in from beyond their field of above water vision and then hope they don't make you once there. Keeping body movement to a bare minimum is vital. If you're in a boat, this means putting some distance between yourself and the fish. To get closer to the action, put on a pair of waders and get right into it. With a light foot, move about slowly and you'll really sneak up on them. It's one of Bob's favorite ways of taking fish. And by sticking to heavy cover, you can enjoy a front row seat every time. That's exactly how we film for this part of the show. Strange as it may seem, fish don't consider you a great threat when they see you on their level. Have you ever wondered about fish populations in unfamiliar lakes? Wouldn't it be great to know the actual number and size of fish? There's an easy way to obtain this information by doing a little off-season scouting. What we suggest is checking out these lakes during spawning time. That's when they move into the shallows and are easily spotted. Angling laws protect these fish, so leave the tackle at home and bring a good pair of polarized sunglasses instead. In bass lakes, search for light-colored nests scooped out along shorelines. Most will be guarded by males. In the north, start looking in late May to early June and progressively earlier down south. Precise timing is critical and that's true for all species. It's best to call the local Ministry of Natural Resources office for up-to-date information. Walleye, for example, head for moving water just after ice out in very early spring. Incoming rivers are places you can observe the entire resident population. During open season, brook trout lakes are always a mystery. Notoriously picky and elusive, you never know what's actually down there. For a real surprise, visit an incoming stream in late October through early November. Gravel shoals on windswept points also attract spawning fish. For a great day of entertainment and enlightenment, we highly recommend a trip to survey things for yourself.